Hi everyone, so we're back in the swing of things now, we've been back in college for at least a couple of days, um, so we might as well get back on the um, doing the videos. So this is one to do with probability, it says A1 maths probability, because technically it is on the A1 spec, the first year part of it, but we rejiggled a little bit of the, um, the content, around, content around, so we've not done this, but it's all good. Right then, so it's actually about four lessons. So lesson one is Venn diagrams, lesson two is tree. We'll probably stick these together for lesson. Ooh, hang on. No, tree with that would be lesson two. Then lesson three, lesson four. There we go. That's how we're going to split it. Hopefully, maybe, we'll see. Right, I've got to keep an eye as well on the timer, which seems to have disappeared, because I have a feeling it will stop at five minutes instead of uh, ten. So... Right, so hopefully you're happy with Venn diagrams, but if not, <coughs> if you look, this is shading all of the A part, so this is the probability of A. If you look at this, this shades everything that isn't, uh, I'm going to say, oh, no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm being watched. Uh, this covers everything that isn't B. So all this here is everything that isn't B, all this lot. So that's the probability of it not being B. It's complement. Hopefully you're happy that this bit in the middle is A or B. Now we use, or you should have seen, the union sign. You've seen it when we did all the, um, like, you know, X is greater than 3 or X is greater than 10, that type of thing. Or not that. Right, so, so keep going, keep going there, because I think it'll run out of five. So the next one, this is A and B. So this is the overlappy bit. So A and B. And that there is the intersect. Oops. So looking at this one, it's everything apart from A or B. So this is the probability of A or B knotted there. So we put it on the outside. If you put it on the inside, you've got to be careful how it looks like. <clears throat> now this is interesting because this is B and everything that isn't A. So it's not A. Oh, sorry, uh, B or everything that isn't. If it's and, it's just the overlap, but this is like this little bit here is an overlap. So it must be an or to go with it, or be there. So hopefully that's moderately straightforward. So then it says, have a go at some of these. So you can define your own. I'm just gonna like look at, say, let's have hearts for this one. And let's have an ace. So for A is hearts, so I know that all the, this part of it is, all the, like the A bit is hearts, um, all 13 of them. And then in B is just aces. So this middle bit here must be an ace of hearts there. So this is like all the hearts. And this is all the aces there. And then B, let's look at this, this second one diagram too. You've got to keep an eye on this time here. So I'll go hearts, because if you look at these, they don't, there's no overlap between them, they're mutually exclusive. So if I say that these are hearts, I can say that these are clubs. So I'm just kind of following what the completed path does. There. And then this last one, let's have A as hearts again, but B's inside, all inside of A. So it might be that it's the I don't know, the odd numbers which are hearts. So it might be, I don't know, like the three, five, seven, and nine of hearts. Now that's slightly different to what the completed pack does. There's more information there. The completed pack just says it's a picture card, but it has to be the picture card of hearts because it fully completes it. So this is where I see if this is a five minute or not because potentially it's going to run out in like seven seconds, five seconds, we'll see. So if this is the free version, it'll stop now.